Actually, most of the deaths are probably caused by Siren Head stepping on people with his giant feet. I mean, he's supposed to be like 40 feet tall or something. Uh, he looks like kind of like a telephone pole or a tree, so he blends in really well with his environment, which makes it hard for people to see where he is. <laughs> Hey everybody, so I'm gonna draw and craft Henry Stickman, Siren Head, and Cartoon Cat. Now, uh, let's see, what should I do with this cat? Uh, well, I guess I could put it on the shelf up here. Huh, doesn't really stand up, does it? I'll just lay it down like that. Now, uh, hopefully this isn't like uh, bad luck or something, but uh, I mean, it's all just superstition anyways. Kind of like that whole 3 a.m. thing. Oh, actually, what time is it? It's, uh, well, that's weird. What? My phone's dead. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter what time it is. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Now, you're probably wondering why I'm drawing Henry Stickman. Uh, well, it's because he's really cool, but also, since I'm drawing Siren Head and Cartoon Cat, I, I need at least one good character. In fact, I'd like to see Henry Stickman battle it out with Cartoon Cat and take down Siren Head. I mean, even though he's just a stick figure, he's, he's pretty powerful. Now, sure, he might be kind of clumsy at times, but most of the time he's, he's quite clever and he seems to figure out a way to escape danger, mainly because he has several options of gadgets to choose from. Oh, and he has some pretty sick dance moves, like the distraction dance, which I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so this might seem a little familiar to you. It's similar to one of my previous videos. Yeah, Henry, he's not in the best situation right now, and unfortunately for him, it's, it's gonna get a lot worse. Now, what's also nice about Henry Stickman is that he's pretty easy to draw. It really comes down to his expression. His eyes are very, like, stretched out, which is unique. Uh, let's see here, uh, okay, uh, here, here we go. So, for the Henry Stickman craft, uh, it's time to make him dance. Yeah, uh, when Henry does the distraction dance, it makes everyone around him uh, join in on the dance. Uh, they just can't help it, it's like contagious or something. I, I think it's one of Henry's best tactics for escaping when uh, there's really no more options available. So, I have the second dance move on top, and the first one on the bottom. Uh, you can see how this rolls. Now, with this pencil, I can move the paper back and forth. This way you get this cool effect, kind of like an old-fashioned cartoon. And if you speed it up faster, you get this. Oh, oh there he goes, he's dancing. <laughs> no need to worry about Siren Head or Cartoon Cat when you got the distraction dance. You think Siren Head could do this, huh? So in order to do what I just did, I had to draw out 12 different positions on the bottom piece of paper, and then the same 12 positions on the top piece of paper. I mean, ah, look at all this paper. Oh, that definitely took a while, but uh, it was well worth it. Now, uh, oh, now on to Siren Head. So I need to draw Siren Head at a perspective that shows his creepy, disgusting mouth inside the siren as if he's looking up at Henry Stickman. In this situation, the sirens would be blaring a deafening sound, which may be the last sound people hear before being consumed, which is a horrible death. In fact, people often wonder how Siren Head makes such loud sounds. Well, some say that Siren Head has this old-fashioned cassette tape recorder inside his body that captures the sounds of his victims that he eats. And these sounds are then released through the speakers, and oh, oh my goodness, this is so creepy. I, I know Henry Stickman doesn't say much, he's not one for words, but I'd even imagine that Henry would probably let out a scream if he was being eaten alive by Siren Head, which is just horrible to think about. Like, uh, hopefully it never comes to that. Actually, it, most of the deaths are probably caused by Siren Head stepping on people with his giant feet. Uh, I mean, he's supposed to be like 40 feet tall or something. Uh, he looks like kind of like a, a telephone pole or a tree, so he blends in really well with his environment, which makes it hard for people to see where he is. Now, I'm gonna make a Siren Head craft that will color this drawing in for me. So, I'm putting these paper towel rolls through the holes in this foam core. And you wanna make sure that it's a snug fit and not too loose. And then I'll add some hot glue to the sides of this piece, and I'll place it in like this. And this acts as support. We'll also need to add some hot glue to the bottom, and place it onto the base piece like this. And next, we're gonna do four cuts into the toilet paper roll to open it up a little bit. And 
add some more hot glue on the inside. This way the toilet rolls will stick to the paper towel rolls and act as turning handles. Now I've got four pieces of construction paper and I'm gonna tape the ends together. Next, we're gonna add some double-sided tape to the end of the paper and then stick it on. Also, uh, we're gonna need to apply a long piece of tape. Now, let's roll it up. I know you're probably wondering, how on earth is this gonna work? Oh, you're in for a surprise. Now, I'm adding double-sided tape to the end and attaching it to the bottom of the roll. And another long piece. It is ready. Oh, so exciting. Uh, okay, uh, now we just need to add the drawing. So, uh, oh, that's weird. I just had it. What? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I must have dropped it. I'm sorry, Henry, but uh, we have to color this in. Uh, it's now or never, so. Here it goes. Uh, let's feed the paper through the rolls. Uh, hopefully this works. I just need to turn the handles and, uh, oh, no way. Uh, yeah, it's working. Oh, it's coloring in the drawing. It's like it's printing it out. What the heck? Uh, some type of magic or something? Sirenet is upgraded from black and white to color. Oh, this looks a lot better. Oh my, look at that tongue. This just got a lot creepier. I, uh, yeah, there's something weird going on with this craft. Like, wait, uh, what's the secret here? Okay, okay, I'll show you how I did this. So at this point, you wanna roll it so that it's about half the paper's on the top and half is on the bottom. Now, we've got the line drawing and an identical drawing, but colored in. Yep, both drawings are already made before the trick even starts. So the colored drawing goes in first. This is what you hide from the audience. Make sure that there's just enough hidden so that you don't see it, like that. Now, let's turn it around, and this is what the audience sees. We're gonna twist the handles in the opposite direction so that the colored drawing comes back out while the line drawing is sucked in and hidden. Oh, people are probably gonna wonder how you did this. It seems like we brought Siren Head to life. <laughs> well, he's all ready to go. Now, let's add this to the perspective. As Siren Head is eagerly waiting for Henry Stickman to slip off the ledge and come plummeting down into his dark abyss of a mouth. I know this is a pretty tragic scene right here, but uh, oh, it's only gonna get worse. Now, people have been saying that a while back some kid drew Cartoon Cat in the dark and for whatever reason, he just disappeared that night. They haven't been able to find him since. That's probably how this whole don't draw cartoon cat thing comes from, but I mean, it's just a theory. Now, as many of you know, Siren Head and Cartoon Cat were both created by the artist Trevor Henderson. So uh, these two villain creatures may actually be allies. Uh, this alliance would make it extremely difficult for Henry to take them both on at the same time. Uh, besides, Cartoon Cat is said to have these powers that could definitely rival that of Henry's abilities. It's said that Cartoon Cat can shape its body into many forms and grow in size. In fact, uh, no one really knows this cat's weakness. Uh, even bullets don't seem to hurt this evil cat. Like, uh, how do you fight something that instantly vanishes into the darkness and follows you wherever you go, like just waiting for an opportunity to strike. I, I don't even think the distraction dance would work on Cartoon Cat, but well, I don't know, maybe it would. Well, uh, I've officially drawn Cartoon Cat and uh, I survived, I'm still here. I, I mean, yeah, I don't even feel any different, I feel the same. Yeah, this is definitely a myth. Uh, you guys can go ahead and draw Cartoon Cat if you want. Uh, I don't think anything bad is gonna happen. Okay, so for this one, I've drawn out these different characters. And yeah, you're probably wondering what some of these characters are doing here. Oh, you'll see. So I'm gonna just put it over here. So I've got this Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna pour this bottle of black paint into the bag. Oh, we'll need most of the bottle. Yeah, this is probably bringing back some bendy vibes. Uh, let's go ahead and seal this up, and then we're gonna spread the ink out so that it covers the entire inside of the bag. Yeah, before you do this, make sure that there's no holes in the bag. Now, some of you may have guessed by now that we're making an eye pad. With a pencil, let's outline where the screen will go. Now, we're, we're going to add some double-sided tape to the back of the drawing and attach it to the foam core. Next, we're going to add some double-sided tape to the back of the Ziploc bag and then place it over the drawing. Oh, and make sure to only apply the tape along the outer edges of the Ziploc bag. Now, we can take these thin pieces and with tape, attach them along the sides of the iPad. In terms of size, this is probably about the size of an iPad Pro. So this is a pretty big iPad we've got here. You just need to fill this in and we've got it. And then once you have this, oh, you could really surprise some people who don't know that there's a drawing underneath the Ziploc bag. And some people might even think that the drawing is like inside the bag somehow. So this is kind of like an illusion. 
Now, if you try to move the paint with your finger, it doesn't really work. So in order to see through, you need some type of plastic card uh, like this, which is really neat because it means that only people with the card can access your iPad. So as we push away the paint, you can see the images below appear and I, oh, I can easily just cover it back up with my hand. Oh, I'm sure Bendy really likes being in all of this black ink. Uh, yeah, you could put like a secret code or a clue on the drawing and have someone search for it or maybe do some type of treasure map. Well, we've got Henry Stickman down here and oh, a Cuphead, he's up here. Oh, that would be a cool crossover and we've got an Among Us character in the corner. Cartoon Cat uh, with this evil smile on his face. Man, he is just laughing away as he steps on Henry's fingers one at a time. Uh, Cartoon Cat loves to see fear in his opponent's eyes right before they meet their demise. Man, when these two work together, there's nothing stopping them. Uh, hopefully Henry has some type of gadget options available to him because I, uh, I don't know how he's getting out of this one. Oh yeah, imagine if there was a video game where Henry has to take on Siren Head and Cartoon Cat. I mean, Siren Head is pretty lanky as it is, similar to Henry, and Cartoon Cat is a cartoon, so I think... Wait a second. What? Uh, wait, why is there an X through Cuphead? Wait, wait, this doesn't make any sense. Wait, wait where, where's the card? Why, what's going on here? Wait, Sonic? Why did, no, Foxy, wait, why are there X's? Someone ruined my drawing. Wait, uh, there's no X on Bendy though. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, it was Siren Head. There, there's no X on Siren Head. The, the Among Us character, wait, wait, what's going on? There's an X to him and, oh no, Henry, wait, what? What is going on? Wait, Cartoon Cat. Wait, no way, no way, no way. It says something. It, how's this possible? It says, you are next? It, wait, wait. Cover it up, cover it up. Oh, wait, I, oh, I need to get rid of this. This iPad is like, it's cursed. I should never have done this. I need to burn this. What the? No, no, no. What's going on? No! Who is that? Is it not funny? Show yourself! No, there's no legs. What? No, 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 not again! What? Don't make me use this on you! This is your last chance! No! Okay, I warned you! No way. What? <laughs>